um, to a presentation from McLaren Construction Group. Today's presentation is to educate you on the ways to be able to know the basics of painting your home. We aim to give you an understanding of paint types, techniques and tips to make painting your home easy and quick as possible. The demonstration will help you determine the steps to achieve your desire for your personal space. So these fillers come in various shapes and forms where you mix them yourselves or for, for our level I would just get the ready mix ones as well. Makes it a lot easier. Paint stirrer. We'll always have a paint stirrer. Make sure you're paint, stirring your paint before you're using it. <laughs> yeah, that was the old fact. My dad used to do it with a screwdriver. But a paint stirrer is what you need. Roller. So this is quite a, uh, this is a heavy pile roller, a long pile roller. Now, long pile, short pile rollers. So a long pile roller, when you have a rough substrate wall, where there's lots of bits and you need to paint to you really get into the crevices. Generally, on emulsion, interior walls would just be a medium or small, um, uh, short pile roller. That gives you a nice finish. I'm happy to share copies of my um, presentation for you to take away as well, if that helps. Uh, brushes, now there tend to be different sizes of brushes, but there's two different types of brushes. There's a synthetic brush and a natural brush. So natural is for more solvent-based paints. They work better with solvent-based paints. And a synthetic brush with water-based paints. When painting, you might often see people going up and down like this. Okay, that's, that's fine, that's not too bad. But for us, when you're cutting into something like a ceiling or up to your architrave or your skirting, you want to try and keep it to the blade. And you can come straight down. And you've just gone onto the woodwork a little bit, which isn't too bad. The reason you've gone onto the woodwork is when you come to putting the undercut and the gloss on, you want to gut onto the emulsion itself. And that will give you that straight line between your colour on the wall and your woodwork. And basically you come down, you can just go over the woodwork, it's not an issue to start with. You cut along the bottom. So one coat there with your brush, and it's job done. It's your cutting in. Now basically I can't use a nine inch sleeve on this, obviously with most of you be using a nine inch roller, so I'm just gonna use one of our little red rollers just to give you, show you the technique of rolling. Again, dip it in the paint, roll it down the side of the kettle, when you come up to the wall, <coughs> you want to go that motion and then cross over. And you keep doing this until you cover the area you want to do. This, this minimises any trail marks from the edge of the roller. So you're constantly going over it in different directions. And repeat it. Basically I'll speed up a little bit. When you come up to scones, obviously you can't go down in diagonals because you can end up getting misses. You can literally go along the edge like that. Up the sides. Right, so here we are now. So this is our room. And we're basically, we're going to start next to the, next to the door frame, okay? So never expect that door frame to be straight or level, okay? Most of the time it's not. Okay, so you must plumb your own line so the wallpaper's nice and straight, okay? So, what I have here is, uh, I've chosen this pattern particularly because obviously it's big and you can see it while I'm doing it, okay? Um, this, has got, this is slightly embossed, okay? Um, so, when we get back to, um, we'll put it on the wall, you must use a brush and not a spatula because all you'll end up doing is flatten out the pattern. Okay? So, first thing we do is we take our wallpaper. Anybody notice the golden stake here? Socket's too high. I don't know why, but there you go. Should be down here, but we'll go with it. Okay? So, we'll put our wallpaper up there. Always allow, I always try and allow at least an inch, two inch overlap for trim purposes. Top and bottom, so you have your ceiling up there. Pretend this is, is our ceiling line here. Architrave, skirt at the bottom. So, doing that there, pencil, we just mark 
the edge of that wallpaper there. Okay, and this is going to be our first drop. So what we do then is with our spirit level, up there, we make sure obviously the bubble's in the middle, okay. And we mark our lines. We're going to stick it on the wall, okay. Golden roll that I like is make sure you line it up with your spirit level line first and not just stick it up on the wall because then you're going to struggle. And we mark pressure down on the corners of the switch, okay? That corners of the switch there shows you where that switch is, okay? What you do then is pierce in the centre of that switch, like so, and cut at a 45 degree angle to those points, okay? So, there we go. Move that like that, and then trim it. Second same as I trimmed there, and that's it's two lengths hung, and then the rest of them to carry on. And it's as simple as that. Obviously, make sure we wash down. Wow. Make sure we wash down the edges and the tops and bottoms. You don't want to paper paste on your, on your paper. Um, and that's basically about it. Um, any questions? Come and see me afterwards. Obviously, I've been a bit rushed, but.